we're feeling pretty confident that this. Should I try pulling in some more? What do you think? What's your opinion? In the oven, bro. You're in the oven, bro. Looking good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Foundation. I can see it. And it looks marvelous.
Some people claim that there's a woman to blame, but I know. Je m'appelle Jack. Je m'appelle Nicole. What do you think? I just revealed the first edge. Ooh. I tapped the heck out of it, so I should have tapped like all the air bubbles out. Yeah. That looks great. But since it's so wet here, like I've never laid concrete in such a wet environment. Yeah. This is like five days in. It's still... So it'll probably take like, like a week to still like fully dry. Maybe two. Epiphany. Don't pivot. Don't pivot. <laughs> cool. That was, that was a beautiful dance. Thanks. Good boy. How's that? It's so pretty! <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Cool. This is an interesting way to get mushrooms. <laughs> it's good if you go on my shoulders and use this stick. Yeah, right. It's like on a hill. That's scary. There you go. All right. Oh, it broke. I know. It's just dropping out. Uh. Here, let me get them. Yeah, very nice. If you guys know what these are, comment below what they are. Hey. Hey. What's up? Not much. It's looking good. Thank you. You're a little silhouetted right now, but... Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm silhouetted. Like I told our audience before, Komorebi is eight acres and we've only really been on like half an acre of it. Yeah. And the trees you see here are 
basically like a monocrop you would see if you looked at a monocrop of corn or a monocrop of soybeans or like alfalfa because this property has been logged since the 1800s, clear cut. And each time so much of the debris is left that when Nicole and I are on our yurt, our yurt's actually six feet above the native ground because these old, 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 centuries old logging roads they built them up six feet above with rock from a local quarry. That way the logging trucks can go in and out. So 40 years later, since the last logging, what grows back is just a super dense monocrop of all different kinds of conifers, mostly hemlock here. So by thinning it out, we actually are restoring the forest to airflow. Diversity of plants will come in because more plants have a chance to make it with sun. And you're going to see how we're going to create a more balanced ecosystem at Komorebi on our property. And then we're gonna use all the materials for building yeah. as well. So nothing will leave the property. Look, he's doing flips. He's doing what? He's doing flips. Oh. Look, he's doing it again. He's like doing a flip and then coming up. That's cool. I'm sweating. It's hot. <laughs> so this tree right behind us, this gigantic alder tree is going down today. It's a beautiful tree, but I don't know if you guys can see our yurt is right there. So during the winter, this tree is like big time threatening it. And so is his brother, which is right there behind him. And that one is actually leaning towards the yurt, which is really scary. So this one has to go first, and then the one behind it will go next. Um, so yeah, this one's gonna be, this one's like a huge tree. It's gonna be so loud. Um, it's not leaning towards the yurt, which is really good. Um, but of course, we're gonna do the pulley system to pull it with the rope. So we're trying to get the right amount of rope. Jake's backing the truck up, and then we're gonna pull it to lean it more towards that way just to be extra safe. And we've been downing a lot of trees I don't know if you guys can see how open our future garden area is getting and there's so much light coming in it's so nice and i feel like this part of the forest is like taking a breath and it's like ah, some sun <laughs> it's it's truly it's really beautiful so we're feeling pretty confident that this I think you've inhaled too much uh, fumes from the chainsaw. <laughs> Maybe so. All right, let's uh, rope this bad boy off. Fingers crossed it doesn't hit our home, which is right there. <laughs> what do you think? 
think we're going to be very successful. Me too. I mean, this is the firewood for 2021, you know? Yeah. And same with his brother right here. Yeah. It's also the sunlight for all the garden, all the fruit trees, the alder in this area, for those watching, are, it's known by the locals as the bamboo of British Columbia. It's a renewable resource that grows so quickly. I mean, this was clear cut back in the, in the 80s. And we have hundreds of alders here, hundreds. Safety number one. <laughs> Safety number one. moving the tree it's not like a dramatic lean though but it did shake it i know it's gonna shake it but i'm looking to is there at least like a couple inches i definitely seen it move definitely toward the truck yes Should i try pulling it some more what do you think what's your opinion I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try to pull a little bit more, but I feel like it'll, it's going to go in that direction. Okay. Success. That is, it's always so nerve wracking when it's like gigantic trees, but we have more sky coming in. We have more light. All right. Gotta let the dogs out. They're like dying to come outside. <laughs>
Shake that tree. <laughs> nice socks with your sandals. Don't tell anybody. <laughs>
Come on, guys, you got it. Yeah. Ready, sit. Kai, sit. Stay. Okay, go get it. Bring it back, let's go, bring it back, come on. All right, guys, come here. Come on, let's go.
There's your pizza oven. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's ready. <clears throat> what do you think about the size shape of that? That's good. All right, so pizza oven, what you're gonna see us do is build the base out of the cinder block, and we're gonna get it up to where we want the base of the pizza oven to be. So, I don't know, somewhere around here. And then we're going to pour another sheet of concrete countertop with rebar in it for strength, and the pizza oven will all go on that countertop. So, Nicole and I have to right now build it up, put the countertop on there, then we can start building the oven. So we laid it out, so the countertop next to the pizza oven, wood or concrete, why do you think concrete would be good? Because uh, then we can like build our pizzas on it and just, we have wood countertops everywhere so it'd be nice to have like something different. So you want to like polish it nice so that you can put the food right on there directly? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got to do a roof over this thing because uh, it can't get wet. Alright, uh, I'm going to have this done in 10 days. 10 days? 10 days. <laughs> Let's well, go. Okay. <laughs> Uno más. There's a bear right there. Hey, Mr. Bear. <laughs> 